my dear students welcome to the today's uh, online class in the last class we started new chapter that is input output and memory devices in the last class just we listed input devices such as keyboard first one is keyboard mouse joystick scanner os omr that is optical mark reading and recognition ocr optical character recognition micr that is magnetic ink character recognition and uh, afterwards uh, we studied first one i think uh, first one is completed keyboard means we discussed uh, what is the keyboard next we discussed uh, types of keyboard that is uh, standard keyboard ergonomic keyboard wireless keyboard special keyboard called uh, visual keyboard because it is made up of software right so that's why it is called a special keyboard and the last one compact keyboard so we study the only uh, keyboard today we are going to discuss the remaining input devices mouse joystick scanner omr that is optical uh, mark reading and recognition ocr optical character recognition and micr that is magnetic ink character recognition so now let us see first one what is the today's first topic mouse so what we listed here these are the examples for input devices so now let us see what is a mouse mouse is uh, one of the commonly used input devices connected to the cpu through a cable right mouse is a one of the most commonly used input device connected to the cpu through a cable we can say uh, mouse is a small handheld pointing device connected to the cpu through a cable it has a rotating ball at the bottom and has two click buttons on the top as the mouse is moved across a rubber pad or a flat surface the ball rolls and its movement is converted into electrical signal and communicates to the cpu this movements are interpreted and displayed on the screen as an arrow this arrow is called mouse cursor or mouse pointer so what he says mouse is also one of the most commonly used input devices uh, this mouse is connected to the cpu through a cable and he says that mouse has a small ball uh, inside the mouse we have we can observe a small ball that is uh, rotated ball whenever the mouse is moved on a flat surface or a rubber pad its movements mouse movements are converted into electrical signal whenever we are moving a mouse on a flat surface or a rubber pad its movements are converted into electrical signals and what we can observe on the monitor so that uh, how we are moving mouse that 
is affecting on the monitor so when we can when we are going to observe the monitor the what cursor or position we are seeing on monitor that point is called cursor of the mouse or we can say that thing is called mouse pointer or mouse cursor moving the mouse in any direction on the pad moves the arrow in that direction on the screen and uh, next we can say that uh, pressing the button on the mouse and uh, releasing it is called clicking that mouse has two buttons on it pressing button and releasing on it pressing the button on the mouse and releasing it is called a click means whenever we are going to press on press press button on the mouse and releasing it is considered as a click a single click by clicking the buttons on the top of the mouse a specific a specific command is executed we are following are the different types of mouses we can observe they are manual mouse usb mouse uh, scroll mouse wireless mouse so these uh, four are the different types of mouses available uh, in the market what are those he says manual mouse scroll mouse usb mouse wireless mouse so these four are the different types of mouses available in the market and uh, next one third input device that is joystick third input device that is joystick a joystick consists of a small rod or stick moved on a rolling ball this rod is used to control the screen cursor the movement of the rod is converted into electrical signals which are then set to the send to the cpu for the subsequent processing the cpu interprets these signals and displays the movement on the monitor screen means joystick is just like it is just like uh, joystick is one of the input device so this uh, joystick contains a rod a rod a joystick contains a small rod or we can say a stick whenever whenever we are going to a joystick consists of a small rod or a stick mounted on a rolling ball means below this rod a ball is there on that ball a rod or a stick is there whenever a joystick a joystick consists of small rod or a stick uh, mounted on a roll ball this rod is used to convert Uh, this rod is used to control the screen cursor the movement of the rod is converted into electrical signals signals when which are then sent to the cpu for the subsequent processing means whenever we are going to move this rod or stick then the ball is moving so those uh, movements are converted into electrical signals and sent to the cpu for the processing for the processing the cpu interprets these signals means the cpu works on these signals the cpu interprets these signals and display the movement on the monitor screen joysticks are also used to control machines such as cranes trucks 
etc means this joystick technology is used to control machines such as trucks uh, cranes especially this joystick is used to play the games play the games means you may observe those video games are uh, played using this joysticks by moving uh, this rod the movement is converted into electrical signal and passed it to cpu then cpu accepts that those signals and it interprets on it means it process on it it works on it so like this uh, joystick works so this joystick is also one of the input device and the next one is scanner so scanner what is a scanner means it is also one of the input device this is an input device connected to the cpu it is used to transmit uh, it is used to transform both character and graphics from outside world to the cpu means suppose what is a scanner what is the function of the scanner or why the scanner is used, is used means suppose we have to enter number of pages data number of page information which are present in the book to system how it is possible this work has to be done within a minute suppose we have to take uh, information from the system to system to outside world that is from system to on the paper means we are going to use a device called printer with the help of printer we are going to take number of page information on the paper right with the help of printer printer is going to connect it to the system cpu then whatever whatever the content will be there inside the computer that thing will be printed on paper we can take number of pages pages of information with the help of printer right so suppose we have to transfer information from outside to inside the cpu means how it is possible you are going to type it it takes a number of days or number of uh, hours because the whole book information is to be transferred to the system how it is possible we have to finish this work within a minutes how it is possible then we have to use a input device is called scanner what is the function of scanner means with the help of scanner whenever when that scanner is connected to the cpu means it is possible to transfer the whole book information into system within a minutes means scanner is a one of the input device with the help of scanner we can send text image even complicated uh, structures into system within a few minutes it means the function of scanner is to transfer text image any information which is there on paper that thing is transferred and transferred into the system and stored into computer's memory with the help of a device called scanner right so he says this is a, in a, a scanner is one of the input device connected to the cpu it is used to transfer transform both character and graphics from outside world to the cpu a complex picture or a photograph can be fed to the computer through a scanner means with the help of scanner we can transfer data which is on the paper or page or book into the system even we can transfer uh, pictures or photographs uh, within a minutes from outside world to the system that is uh, in the memory of a 
computer we can store with the help of one of the input device called scanner and uh, next thing that is OMR that is optical mark reading and recognition in the exam you can expect one more questions expand OMR expand OCR expand MICR means you have to expand each character like OMR stands for optical mark reading and recognition OCR optical character recognition MICR magnetic ink character recognition like this we can expect in the examination for one more purpose right now let us see what is OMR OMR stands for optical mark reading and recognition now let us see actually what is OMR right from this list we can say OMR is also one of the input device so that is not enough to define OMR let us see what is exactly OMR OMR stands for optical mark reading and recognition uh, it is an optical mark reader reads marks made by pencil or pen on a printed form into the computers means this uh, OMR is going to read which is marked by a pencil or pen on a standard printed form right so with the help of OMR we can uh, with the help of OMR it is going to read a mark made by a pencil or pen on a standard printed format so this device is going to read mark made by the user on a printed standard format so let us see OMR OMRs are used by exam boards to collect the answers to multiple choice examinations to purchase uh, multiple choice examinations every marked dot is recognized based on the position which is programmed means this OMR optical mark reading and recognition is one of the input device it is used to evaluate examination conducted by the board and uh, that examination paper must contain multiple choice questions means whenever the whenever the board is going to conduct examinations related to multiple choice questions at that time to evaluate such type of uh, examination scripts answer scripts purpose OMR is used means multiple choice questions means you may observe right the pattern will be standard pa paper will be like this so so and so examination candidate name register name and it has question number one two three so on with four options right four options like this four options and uh, candidate who is going who, who is going to write examination is is going to evaluate this paper by marking like this circling or uh, like this question number a b question number three d like this so, so such examination scripts such marked scripts right such marked scripts are going to be evaluated with the help of one of the input device called OCOMR that is optical mark reading and reading and recognition so this is OMR these are going to be used in the examinations to read marked things as well as uh, he says timesheets of factory employees so to read timesheets of employees number of employees 
purpose in the factory also uh, this OMR uh, device is going to be used and uh, next thing is OCR 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 stands for op OCR stands for optical optical character recognition OCR stands this uh, OCR stands for optical character recognition so this uh, OCR is uh, the main use of this device is to recognize alphabetic and uh, numeric character printed on paper means this uh, OCR is used to is used to recognize characters numerics printed on a paper so printed on a paper so a paper is there that contains some printed characters or printed numerics to read that or to scan that purpose a device is used that is OCR he says the main use of this uh, OCR device is to recognize alphabetic and numeric character printed on a paper. The OCR technique permits the direct reading of any printed character without any special ink. This can be the this uh, OCRs are used in applications such as credit card billing and bar coding. Right? This OCR, you may observe whenever you are going to visit uh, malls, shopping malls, anything. So, there uh, sub after purchasing of uh, some things, uh, they are not going to put their bill because uh, to reduce work pressure purpose or they are going to use one uh, device called OCR, Optical Character Recognition they are going to use barcode reader so that is made up of that contains OCR technology just with the help of this barcode reader they are going to uh, use that device on that product so that uh, barcode reader is going to read the value or cost of that product with some details so so such such so this OC, OCR is also one of the input device that is going to be used in credit card, credit card uh, billings credit card billings as well as in the malls uh, barcode reader so that is also work on this OCR and the next one that is the last one that is MICR that is MICR stands for magnetic ink character recognition magnetic ink character recognition MICR is a form of character recognition that reads the text printed on the magnetic ink magnetic charged ink so he says that MICR is widely used in banks to process check. So, this MICR stands for magnetic ink character recognition means uh, bank checks bank checks contains what check number bank name so like that account holder uh, account uh, account number some informations which are made up of some which are made up made up of special magnetic ink so read to read such thing purpose magnetic ink character recognition device is going to be used he says micr is widely used by banks to process checks uh, Human readable numbers are printed on documents such as check, 
using a special magnetic ink. The check can be read using a special input unit which can recognize magnetic ink characters. Uh, this method eliminates manual errors. It also save times, uh, ensure security and accurate data. So, this uh, MICR is one of the input device stands for magnetic ink uh, character recognition. So, this device, this device MICR device is uh, mainly used in a blank uh, process on checks, right. So, these are what different uh, types of uh, input devices which are there for our syllabus. What are the input devices? Uh, means keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, OMR, optical mark recognition, OCR, optical character recognition and uh, MICR, magnetic ink character recognition. So, these are the different types of input devices. Now, let us see output devices. Next topic is output devices. So, we know that what is the output right? What is the output? After processing on data what we get a result is called output is called output means today next topic is output devices. No means we are going to see output devices. What are the output devices? monitor, printer and speakers. These are called output devices. So, actually uh, output is the result information that is obtained after processing, right? What is an output? Output is the data or information which is obtained after processing. The information must be presented in the human understandable form is capable of processing information on to the output devices. Means, uh, when input device receives data, that data is there is not there in binary form, we know that right. So, that input device is going to convert that binary form uh, that uh, user entered uh, data into binary form and afterwards it transferred into CPU for processing. So, when uh, CPU central processing in uh, CPU work is going on after processing what we get result that is called output. So, that uh, output is also in the binary form if it is directly printed on a monitor or a uh, with the help of printer it is printed on paper means that is not understood to user because that is in binary form. So, that is why output devices are uh, that is why output unit is there that output unit is going to accept that processed result that output and it convert that binary form of data into human understandable form or the uh, output unit is going to convert binary form to user entered form. Then with the help of these output devices 
it may be a monitor it may be a printer it may be a speaker that output is visible means output unit is going to convert binary form of data to human understandable form data and afterwards with the help of any one these output devices that output is visible means if we want to see that output just we want to see that output it may be in a text texted form or image form output is there means that is possible with the help of a device called monitor that result is displayed on monitor if that output must be need on a paper means we have to use another output device called printer if that output processed output is in the form of audio means to get or to hear that sound means we have to use one output device called speaker so like this we are going to use uh, uh, such output devices to get output right so monitor printer and speakers are the commonly used output devices now let us see first one monitor what is a monitor this monitor is also this monitor is one of the output device he says that monitor is commonly used output device sometimes called display screen or visual display unit so this monitor is called display screen or vdu visual display unit this monitor is also called vdu means visual display unit it provides a visual display of data data uh, monitors are connected to the computer and uh, are similar in approximate to a television set means he says this uh, monitor is connected to the cpu and this uh, monitor is look like just like a television and uh, initially there were only uh, monochrome monitors that is uh, initially only one type of monitor is available that is a black and white monitor it is also called monochromic monitor uh, but generally we have monitors that display colors monitors displaying images and text so means when initially when the system is ready for the use at that time only black and white monitor is there means that black and white monitor is called monochromic monitor but now we can observe color monitors means we can get results in a different colors color monitor is able to display results with different colors and he says that monitor display image as well as text information with the help of monitor we can get a result in the form of image or text monitor is able to display text as well as image as information these uh, the smallest dot that can be displayed is called pixel means on the monitor what is the smallest dot that can be display the smallest the smallest dot that can be displayed on monitor is called pixel pixel what is what is mean by pixel p a x e l means the smallest dot this uh, displayed on monitor is called pixel that can be displayed is called pixel the resolution of the screen improves the number of pixels pixels in, uh, increased means 
the resolution the resolution of the screen improves the number of pixels uh, is increased most of the monitor have 4 is to 3 width to height ratio this is called aspect ratio means the most monitor has 4 is to 3 ratio 4 is the most of the monitor have 4 is to 3 width to height ratio width to height ratio means this 4 indicate the width of the monitor this 3 indicate height of the monitor so this is the 4 is to 3 ratio is called aspect ratio aspect ratio aspect ratio and uh, the number of pixels that can be displayed vertically and hor horizontally gives the resolution of the monitor means the smallest individual dot displayed on the monitor is called pixel right the number of pixels that can be displayed vertically and horizontally means uh, y axis as well as horizontally means x axis gives the resolution of the monitor the resolution of the monitor determines see here the resolution of the monitor determines the quality of the display right the resolution of the monitor determines the quality of the display means resolution is more means the quality is very high the resolution of the monitor determines the quality of the display the resolution of 1024 into 768 the resolution of 1024 into 768 uh, pixel pixel will produce sharper image means this is the standard standard resolution of the monitor this is the standard resolution of the monitor if the resolution is 1024 into 768 pixel means the clarity of the monitor is very fine and he says the size of the monitor is measured diagonally the size of the monitor is measured diagonally maybe 12 inch monitor 14 inch monitor maybe monitor maybe 12 inch monitor 14 inch monitor 17 inch monitor 19 inch monitor and 21 inch monitors are available in the market based on the different types of technology monitors are different based on different types of technology monitors are classified into uh, four types that is uh, first one CRT second one LCD monitor third one TFT monitor fourth one LED monitor means based on the uh, technology used monitors are classified into four type first one is uh, CRT CRT stands for cathode ray tube second one is LCD means a liquid crystal display uh, third one is a TFT thin film uh, transmitters thin film transmitters and fourth one is LED that is light emitting diode light emitting